Hi, this is Cherie. We're back with um, a cake that we put in the oven on video one. And now we're going to pull it out and I'm going to show you exactly what I do when I get a cake out of the oven and how it stays moist. The first thing we're going to do is, remember I told you about the, the saran wrap that I got from I got from Sam's. I take it out, I take a piece out and I lay it out. Now depending on how big your cake is, you may need uh, two different pieces to make it wide enough. And then we'll pretend it's wide enough, or it's, it's not wide enough, so I'm going to double it. Now these cakes were put in the oven at 335, and the, the um, uh, temperature on the box says 350, but that's really a little too hot. You want it to bake slower because you don't want it to get brown on top. Now if you'll notice, the cake has a little crown on it. Now what I do immediately coming out of the oven, I take a towel, a clean towel, and I lay it on the top, and I press it down. Now we're gonna, this is going to keep us from having to um, shave cake off of the top of the, the layer. Now what we're doing is pressing all of the air out of the, take a picture of this. What we're going to do is press all of the air out of this cake, which makes it denser and it pushes all the moisture to the front, to the, to the uh, inside of the cake. Now, we're going to take this layer and we're going to, now remember our plastic wrap, normally we think it's too hot. We can't put something hot on there, but that's not the way this is. This is great plastic wrap. Let's see, I need a knife to pick this up. Now you'll see how perfect that comes out. Every time it comes out that way. Now what we're going to do is just lift this off. See how easy that comes out? There, you have a perfect cake. Now we're going to take this plastic wrap and we're going to bring it up to the sides, but not all the way to the side because it's going to shrink towards it. If you put it up too tight, it'll make it, it'll pull the cake up. Now we can leave this cake sitting here for all day, all night. Usually what I do is pick it up and when it cools and put it in the freezer. Now there's one layer. The other one's almost ready to take out. I'm going to do this in the same way. another minute I think it'll be ready. Uh, what I want to teach you in these classes is that there are a lot of things that you can do um, as far as cake decorating that your Wilton instructor is not going to teach you. Uh, remember when you go to a class there are other people in the class and they take up a lot of time when they ask questions and when everybody by the time everybody makes a rose or two then the, t the class is over. Um, I know on one video, uh, the, the young girl said that um, they started decorating their cake 10 minutes before the class was over. Why not go online and, and buy your classes and pay $19.95 for each class and watch it over and over and over again and, and watch it at your leisure and not on the instructor's time. Um, make it easy for you and enjoy your classes and you know the classes may not be for you don't, so don't spend a fortune buying all of your equipment just to find out that this is not what you want to be doing. Most people who take decorating classes do it to, to make extra money. I know I did and if you need extra money you certainly don't need to be spending a fortune on stuff that you don't know you're going to need or not. Okay, we press the air out of that one. You can. Okay, now we're going to flip this one out as well. Another one comes out perfect every time. And we're going to pull this off as well. Another perfect cake. See how level it is? We don't have to shave anything off. We don't have to waste any cake. And unlike the other cakes that dry out and they have to use the simple syrup to make them moist, we don't have to do that with this one. It's going to be moist. Now we can let this sit overnight and we can put it in the freezer 
these will stay for quite a few weeks in the freezer. Now, if you'll notice how level these are, when we're ready to stack these cakes, they're going to be perfectly level. Um, this cake, the, these cakes, if you do it this way, you save cake, you don't waste any. It's not airy, which tends to dry out. If air, if air is, is locked in those little morsels of, morsels of cake, then the, that tends to make it dry out. But when all your air is pushed out and it's allowed to even sweat a little bit, the moisture is locked in, it's not going anywhere, and your cake's going to stay fresh. So put your cake in the freezer, uh, decorate it when you want to, or do it as soon as it cools. So uh, until the next video, uh, if you want to go online and look and see if you're interested in any of our classes, please look up TakeMyAdvice101 at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye.